came in today was sore based upon his previous injury that he had sustained. We wanted to get an MRI. The MRI showed a tear in a muscle which is actually adjacent to and different from the previous muscle he had had an issue with, an injury to. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. Rangers second baseman Jerickson Profar has a torn muscle in his right shoulder. He will be out for 10 to 12 weeks, but is not expected to need surgery. Aroldis Chapman visited the Reds player development complex Sunday afternoon after being discharged from the hospital Saturday. Chapman said he feels no pain from the injury, has watched the replay of him being hit by the line drive, and is happy that he did not sustain an even more serious injury. Orioles manager Buck Showalter announced on Sunday that third baseman Manny Machado will not be ready for opening day. After suffering a knee injury on September 23rd of last season, Machado had surgery in October. He will stay in Florida until he is ready to begin a minor league rehab assignment. Deep to center, could this be number three? <laughs> Way up off the batter's eye. A three homer day for Junior Lake. Yikes. Don't throw this man a strike. <laughs> <laughs> Junior Lake and Luis Valbuena hit back to back home runs in the sixth and ninth innings. And Lake also blasted a two run shot in the seventh to lead the Cubs to a 10 6 win over an A's split squad. In other athletics news, the club named young righty Sonny Gray to be their opening day starter. He's the A's ninth consecutive different opening day starter, which is the longest active streak in the major leagues. Intrigue of him in the relief role. Bryce Harper showing buns and pushes it past the mound towards second. Murphy bends down, fires, got him at first base. He might have gone between his legs with that one. Daniel Murphy's got a big, wide smile as he jogs around towards shortstop with a little Harlem Globetrotters whoop-de-doo right there. Daniel Murphy showed his defensive skills with this gem as the split squad Mets beat the Nationals 3-1. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Here's a swing and a line drive. Knocked down by Moore. It knocks him down. Now he gets up and flips the first to get the out. I don't know if the ball hit him in the face or if the mitt came up and got him as well, but they're going to come out and take a look. And Matt seems to be bleeding a little bit from uh, the face somewhere. A scary moment for the Rays, Matt Moore on Sunday, who took a line drive off the mouth. In the clubhouse, Moore received stitches for a laceration on his lip. The club reported that no concussion symptoms were detected and a hospital trip would not be required. The Rays would go on to beat the Red Sox 9-2. In other Red Sox news, David Ortiz has agreed to a one-year $16 million extension that will keep him in Boston through 2015. Towering fly ball deep into left field, way back, and see you later on that one. <laughs> that thing was oh. halfway up the light tower. He cleared the berm out there in left center. Giancarlo Stanton launched his fifth home run of the spring, helping the Marlins double up the Tigers 8-4. to four. Off the field, the Tigers announced on Sunday that talks have ended with Max Scherzer on a contract extension and won't resume it during the season. We weren't uh, able to get a deal done, but honestly, that doesn't change anything for me on my end. Uh, I'm here to win. Yeah, I'm here to try to get a ring for Mr. I. Yeah, this is what it's all about. You know. Here's the pitch. It's lifted in the air and hit well in the right center field. Morgan is chasing, so is the right fielder. And that ball is going to get in between both of them and get out near the warning track. Trout will be waved home. He'll score. Albert's going for three, and he has a triple. The Angels extended their spring win streak to five in a row with help from Albert Pujols' first ever triple in an Angels uniform and six and a third solid innings from starter Garrett Richards. Angels five, Indians two. For more on these stories, check out MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.